Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, we are going to unbox and review this Li Pao Type-C portable display monitor with 1080p resolution. And I'm actually going to boot up my gaming PC and connect this right over running Modicera because I wanna check this out with a couple different emulators and games so we can fully test out the audio quality as well as the actual picture of this particular monitor. So let's dive into it and start unboxing. All right, so here we have our 15.6 inch monitor. I'm going to open this up. I just took the plastic wrap off of this. Really nice packaging here. All right, so we have a smart cover. You can see exactly how to use it there. This is open up. So what do we have here? We have some plastic protectors. Cool. I'm not going to put those on today, but let's take a look at the actual monitor. And underneath here we have frequent asked questions. So additional um, solutions there for different troubleshooting situations. User guide looks like right here we have a HDMI. Oh, this is the type C connection inside here. Let's see what's in this one. USB to type C. This one should be full on type C. So do we not have an HDMI cable? Oh, this is the H. Okay. So HDMI to type C. That makes sense. And this is just going to be for the power supply. We have our little wipes that are included here as well as the uh, dust absorbers so we can actually install that screen protector. So let's take a look now at the actual monitor. So I'm gonna be careful taking this out. And it seems to come right in that uh, case there, which is awesome, get rid of that. And I assume it just goes like this. It just folds right over. I assumed wrong. Oh yeah, that's magnetic. So that is pretty awesome how that actually works. And it is quite secure. So this is just a magnet on the back. I've seen some where you have like little tabs you have to pull through. At first glance, I thought that's what this actually was. You can see here, but it just actually connects just like that. I'll turn it around so you can see. The magnet on the back just sticks right on there. So it's pretty perfect. You can adjust the angles. So really happy with that. But let's actually connect something. All right, so we're all set up here. I wanna go over the settings. Really simple setup. If we take a look at the side here, we have three buttons right here. And if we actually take off the back side of this holder, you can see right here we have a plus, minus, and circle in the middle. Circle button is going to be to make your setting selection. Plus and minus is going to be to make adjustments. So really simple setup here. Love the fact that we just have those three buttons on the side. We don't have to worry about um, you know having a whole side of buttons for different settings options. Really simple process. Now, if we take a look at the ports here, we only have two connections. They're both type C and actually on the back side, it tells you what they're for. So the bottom one here is type C, which goes directly to the power source. So this goes to a USB connection. I have it plugged into my power outlet here. And then right here is our type C to HDMI. That is what we're going to actually connect this monitor to a PC or a game console with. So really simple setup here as well. We don't have a bunch of ports to have to worry about. Really a simple and streamlined sort of setup. All right, so I just jumped into Botticera so I can actually test out a bunch of different games so we can see what the graphics are like on here using a bunch of different emulators and we'll also check out the audio quality. So I'm going to unmute this and we're gonna jump into some games.
All right, guys, we jumped into Botticera today, and I actually happened to be testing out a new hard drive with Botticera. So I tested out about 25 games or so. I only am showing three in this video in an effort to keep this video short and sweet, but the picture quality is absolutely fabulous on this particular monitor. Um, no shortcomings whatsoever. What's advertised is exactly what you get. Really a crisp picture. Um, the layout of the controls and ports on here is streamlined, so we only have three buttons, two ports, Love that. I hate having monitors that just have a mess of buttons down the side that you end up, you know, inadvertently hitting um, just when you are setting it up. And it's just really frustrating for, for me. So I love the fact that we just have three and you can get through all your settings with ease on those three. Um, the two type C ports are great. One is for the power supply. One is for connecting to your computer, console, whatever you're going to be using your monitor with. And another thing I want to highlight on here because it sets this monitor apart from so many of the other portable monitors out there is the audio quality. Audio is super crisp, um, really well balanced, no issues there at all, and it gets really loud. I didn't even have this at 100% today. I had it at 95% within Botticera, um, and it was perfect. Really love how well balanced it is and how crisp that audio is. Um, in terms of the little holder there, Love the fact that it's magnetic, so it's really easy to prop up into those different angles just by leveling it with the um, position. Just everything about this, as soon as you get out of the box, is perfect. So I'm really happy with this from Leapow. I would highly recommend it. And I'm gonna put a link actually in the description of this video, and I'll actually put it up here on the um, you know, top of the screen as well. So if you guys want additional information on this, go ahead and click the link either up here or down below in the description to get some more information on this awesome Type-C portable display monitor with 1080p resolution. That's gonna do it for today though. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And of course, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. I'll see you on the next video.